guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, how are you, So, we are going to review the famous and at least the buzz around foundation these days in India, which is the K Beauty Foundation. So, I think this is one of the most requested like reviews since it has launched. I think it launched two and a half or three weeks ago. And you guys saw my previous video that I did get a chemical peel done, and my skin was like not normal. Like, though I was wearing makeup, my skin was not normal, like all you know, the last 10 days. Days. so I thought it's not fair for me to just try this one time on camera during that time and give you a give a review because uh, it would not like actually be how it would normally be on my skin and also it's not fair for the foundation or for you guys so it's been quite some time that I did my you know peel my skin is uh, all normal now there's no dryness or like you know peeling happening and I thought it's better to do now so like I told you it's a review and not first impressions because I've been trying this one for a while and I thought it's better this way so that you'll actually know my accumulated thoughts if that's the word rather than just first impressions and what I think about that particular time Anyways, um, let's get into the video. Alright, camera is zoomed in so that you can see what is going on on my face a lot better. So I have four shades of this foundation today. This is the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation. So this is the packaging of the product. Retails for Rs. 1200 which is a lot for a foundation. But I guess this is like you know a high-end version of a drugstore foundation like you know the NYX one uh, which I really like the can't stop won't stop the loyal and fallable fresh wear all these are like you know around like that 11 1200 budget so I think this also falls in that category so I have four shades with me today I'm going to swatch all these four for you they basically sent like one shade in every category um, so they have 20 shades I think like though it's not like the widest range I think it's a decent shade shade range for like an Indian brand to come out with because we have seen huh, stuff from like you know Lakme and like Kalabar. Kalabar actually I am so sorry sorry Kalabar sorry sorry Kalabar did come out with a lot you know huge range of foundation recently let me know actually if you want to see a review for that I was actually you know thinking I'll do a review for that and then you know this came and I was like cool let me do this 20 shades I think is good decent enough probably they'll add more hopefully if they'll add more you know it would be more great so I have um, the shade ivory light first I'm going to swatch this of course these this is like going to be very light on me I'm a MAC NC 40 by the way if you're wondering like what my shade reference is so this is ivory light of course very light on me not for my skin tone Actually, I'll just swatch it on my neck as well. I'll just remove this chain. By the way, this beautiful necklace is from Al Alak or like you know the Instagram page. They sent me this jewelry, like the set. So beautiful, so good quality. Anyways, that's on my neck. Sorry, my bad. So they have like I think ivory. The box at least says, you know. Um, I don't know why I thought it is ivory out of nowhere. It's the first shade is um, 120 Y light. So I think they have five shades in uh, light, then medium, then tan and deep. So each uh, range they have like five different shades. And the one I swatched is 120 um, Y. The next one we have is 145 N medium. So I think N is for neutral and the first one was more um, yellow. So this is medium 140n 145n i hope you can see the next one is this um you know it got a lot warmer 170y but more than y i think it's red you know more warm than yellow and this one is 195 and so they basically sent like one shade of different every range so that I can figure out you know which one suits me the most like medium is actually like quite close to my uh, skin tone but like once I add like couple of layers of it like if I have to build it up or something it's um, a little light on my skin so this is medium 125N right and this is my Maybelline Fit Me Basically, Maybelline fit me in the shade 310, kind of a little, little lighter on me. Once it oxidizes, it's like very close to my skin tone. And this one is a MAC NC40. And 
So Mac is a lot more yellower compared to the K Beauty one. K Beauty one, of course, says it's neutral undertone, which I think it is because it's neither too red or neither too yellow, which is great. So yeah, these are the four different shades and the comparisons. So let me see if you know it is oxidizing or not. I don't think there's like major major oxidization because I noticed that even when I like you know put on the foundation, it's very very mild and not like too much. Okay, I'm just going in with my moisturizer so that you know skin is nice and prepped. Next, I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I think people come at me like especially that full face of sugar cosmetics review I did even till date. People come at me like, you should have moisturized your face. You should have, you know, you know, done something. I'm like, bro, of course I did. Like, it doesn't mean I didn't do it if I didn't do it on camera. You know, like, it, I just apply the foundation. Like, I regularly apply um, it. So, anyways, so I'm just going to apply this on my face. It's one of the best primers, so I know it kind of works well with any foundation. So I'm going in with medium 145N for like my skin tone, obviously. Who else is here? Ah, I don't know why I say a few things. I'm like, later I'm like, is it not like obvious? Anyways, I'm not here to irritate you guys. I'm going to start applying. I'm just trying to find my brush. I'm not able to find where it is. So on the right side, I'm going to go in with the brush. And on the left side, I'm going to go in with the sponge just so that you can uh, uh, see how it works with both like the tools. I've tried it with both and it works pretty well so it does look like it's a very perfect match and it is maybe like a tiny it's it just in my head i usually go in with foundations just like a tad bit darker you know just so that i don't look like a lot lighter or something so but you know do you see that finish i I'm going to tell you about the foundation, like my first impressions. So, you know, once I do like apply it properly, especially in this region, I usually don't have to color correct uh, this region. Like it's very, very mild, my discoloration. So once I go in with foundation, it's kind of fine. But for this one, I think it's because of the shade that, you know, tends to look a little little gray uh, which kind of makes me feel like you know the foundation is a little lighter so what I can do is I can go with something which is like if general tip if you do have this issue then go with something which is a little warmer and only go around this area so that you won't have uh, that trouble so this uh, foundation was highly like you know marketed for like um, the avocado butter and mango butter so I just went through the ingredients the ingredients seem pretty like you know uh, decent so it has you know a lot of dimethicone different you know particles types of dimethicone it has allantoin it has uh, seed butter I'm not sure which is the seed butter then it has um, butylin glycol is quite high on the list and you know it has talc seed butter etc etc um, they don't claim this to be a non-comedogenic foundation but I'm just saying this is not comedogenic because the um, Avocado butter is like, you know, three on the comedogenic rate, which means there is a tendency it might clog your pores, especially if you have acne prone skin. But again, uh, these two ingredients are quite low on the list, though they're marketed for it. Um, so it might not like, you know, affect so much because there are a lot of other ingredients which actually make this product more than like the avocado seed butter or like the mango seed uh, butter. So this foundation claims to be cruelty free, paraben free, paraffin free, mineral oil free, vegan. It has a very subtle, very mild smell. Like you would not even notice unless you go and sniff it. I like usually do that. So I kind of noticed it, uh, but like it's very mild. So it is there but fragrance is there that's the reason obviously they didn't claim that fragrance is not there anyways moving on to the second side so it surely is definitely very hydrating formula you can see like after i blend this side also it's not like the matte foundation which would take your oil oil away or like make you look mad you can see it's very dewy very shiny uh, so it's like a hydrating formula for sure they have like you know hyaluronic acid in this and they have uh, you know various different oils uh, which are like allentin also is kind of very hydrating to the skin so uh you know this is the side so like this side with the sponge if i went it did not co color like correct or hide all my uh, blemishes but with the brush that single thing was quite enough and it's always the case especially this elf uh, sponge kind of absorbs a lot of product but with both the you know tools it went on 
very very smoothly so i just added a little bit more and i'm going to go over it with a brush and cover it up this is definitely a you know sure to medium type of foundation it's nowhere full full coverage foundation um you can definitely build it like the first layer would kind of be a naturalish uh, looking layer and the second layer would like you know probably hide any blemishes you have so you know this is definitely not like a full coverage moment it's that i can see the vibe of you know what the brand was going for it's very you know skin like natural dewy because that's what this foundation is uh, giving me the feels of not not like my usual go to but i don't mind you know trying it once a while why not not everybody has oily skin like me dry skin people i think would really enjoy this one because it's like very very hydrating to the skin and blends out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with the tan a little bit and that 170y i'm going to add a little bit of the what do you say uh, medium and i'm going to just mix it and use it around this area so that you know i don't like this gray stuff which is going on around my mouth area so on the left side you can see that like despite trying to cover it more so many times there's a tiny bit of spots here and there left so probably i would definitely need to use a concealer before i go in with this foundation in case i want to completely cover off my blemishes like if you have like very teeny bitty itty bitty ones like on this side i have like lighter ones uh, at this point so they were kind of like you know fully covered they are actually not kind of they are covered but here only that one spot was a little darker and that's something it could not cover so this is like a more close up of how the foundation is sitting on my skin so i'm just going to add my concealer powder rest of the face and i'll be back to give you more thoughts and what i think about the foundation and what it did to me the past like week or two that i've been trying it all right you guys there was suddenly a 3 hour break in between because i had something to do but this is the look i did very easy peasy smoky eye all the makeup details will be in the description so let's come to the foundation i do like that it's a good glass bottle it's a transparent glass bottle so basically whatever the color you see is the color of the foundation exactly um i like it, it looks really nice it did go on my skin very very beautifully like it just melts into the skin very well and i really like that about this foundation like the first time i put on i was not that impressed but the second time like when i put it on i actually noticed how well it actually you know mixed up to my skin it it does not if you apply you know very sure amount it really does not look like foundation if you get your right shade but if you do apply two layers of course it's going to look like foundation it is a sheer to medium coverage foundation so you'll have to apply two layers in case you want like you know build and cover most of the discoloration or acne scarring etc it does come in 20 shades which is a good shade range to begin with at least i hope you know they do come up with more shades more undertones because the tan one which they said yellow was not really yellow but it was more warm um so you know i think like hopefully they'll try to you know uh move around the undertones a little bit but uh you know it's been um two hours to one and a half hours that it's been on my skin now and it looks pretty decent they do say this is like a light and dewy foundation and of course it is but they also do say that it's for every indian skin uh type and or skin tone basically and they also say that it's suitable for all skin types uh which i don't think is true because i feel like you know um really oily skin people might find it very very uh dewy like i actually apply law mercy a translucent powder all over my face to like you know tone down the dewiness so that's kind of like the mattifying powder like a really good mattifying powder uh, dry skin people usually find it too dry so that kind of you know tone down all the shine from the foundation so i would basically say if you have dry skin normal skin very dry skin anything like that definitely blindly go for this one you get that light and dewy finish of what they say for sure it's very very light weight on the skin you don't feel it at all which is amazing i'm really excited i actually you know have a very good impression about k beauty these days because i've tried their lipsticks their blushes liners um you know foundation now and i really enjoy all of them so i have i have like really high hopes for you know this brand going forward as well now if you do want to know like how to 
protect your skin from getting oily if you have oily skin then i have a video for that you can click on that you can use the powder method it will definitely help you put the oil at bay so i did try this foundation while my skin was peeling as well and for the most of the part it did cover it well like tiny itty bitty parts it did cling on to but i did have a lot of you know dry flaky skin at that point and i think you know for a good hydrating foundation it did a very good job in like you know not exaggerating my dry patches but kind of blending it and look making it look very smooth and nice yeah i think that's my review um i really like how this looks i'll just check in some time all right we are back for the check in i had dinner so the lipstick faded what is it dinner oh, it's almost 11:30 start to sleep i had this uh, for six for seven hours like i started this video about 4:30 so this is how my face looked the foundation held pretty good yes i was just at home but it did hold up pretty well like not like get oily a lot it is very very nice but i did set my face very well so i think if you have oily skin you can really use this foundation if you like powder your face prior to uh, going in with this foundation so this is how it looks i really like how uh, uh, you know it is performing it did not move it did not like you know uh, collect in weird areas like my lipstick got to my lower lip but that's different <laughs> issue but you know no creasing and no anything and yeah i do really like it it did hold up well and yeah that is the check in so yeah i do really think uh you know most of you can enjoy this foundation one thing is i do think you would definitely need a primer before this foundation to fill the pores uh, because usually other foundations i try like my pores are not that much visible even if i don't apply uh, you know primer but this one despite i applying i can still see tiny ones here and there so probably like next time i use this one i can use, i use like a pore filling uh, primer or something and that's always like you know advisable if you do have like big pores um so yeah that's one thing i want you to know but other than that i think i really like this one i do really see myself reaching out to this one a lot more now and yeah with that we finish this video if you do want to purchase this though i'll leave the link in the description if you use the link i'll get commission uh if you don't want don't use it but if you do want to buy, buy it and if you do want to use it then use it i'll get a commission and yeah that's it for this video i hope this video was useful and if you like the video then make sure to like share and subscribe subscribe to my channel ha <sighs> and ring the notification bell and this very tired i really want to remove this makeup and sleep and i'll see you guys in my next video bye